Okay, so I'm going to show you the uh, <clears throat> chamber I'm using for the water that's evaporating. Um, I made this out of some a water bottle that I got at Goodwill. I'm sure you could find Well, it might be hard to find something perfect. And I'm not sure, this has been work, this was what I was using on the best test, so it can work, but it might have, uh, it might, oh, I'm not even showing it here, it might have gone uh, bad. There's a couple cracks in the lid, and I've just got a bunch of, what like, gookum putty, or uh, use it for metal roofs, with a butyl, butyl tape stuff around the top here to try to, Make sure no leaks, and I can show you that more if, if you want. It's, but right now it's in a vacuum, you know, it's holding the vacuum, it's not going to fall. Uh, there's some water, and I put a put some uh, perlite in there. I also put a wool sock. I'm just trying to get stuff that will help it surface area of the water get greater. I don't know, I might be able to get, I might be too late, but I might... Before, I, you could hear some actual evaporation right when it started for probably about five minutes. On the best test, I think I could hear the evaporation for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, but here, if you just a second. I just tipped it up a little bit. No, nah, it's too late. It's, it's either not evaporating at all or it's evaporating very slowly now. And I'm not exactly sure... And this is what's disappointing to me. I don't know exactly why I'm not getting as good a result as I was before. And there's three, you know, at least three possible reasons. One is the vacuum pump is no longer pulling as deep a vacuum. Uh, and then, therefore, you know, the... Um, you know, you can't get as low of a ultimate temperature because you need to well, I could explain this better but uh, there's probably better links to explain the actual process of what's going on basically you have in here I have zeolite you can't see it very well this is a powdered form I ground up some 13x zeolite I can give you a link for that I also tried a uh, cheaper form of zeolite used for horse stalls to absorb moisture and stuff. What's that called? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember, but I can give a link to that. I bought it at uh, uh, that feed store, whatever you call it. I'll have to, <laughs> have to remember things. I don't remember things very well. Um, but the 13 x zeolite does work a lot better than the, the cheaper form of Clinop. I don't know if I'm saying it like Clinop Delight. It's just a natural form of zeolite instead of a man-made, which a 13x is. You know, just there's 4a, there's 5a zeolite, 13x. The 13x I, I chose it just seems like it. From what I read, that it would be the best as far as absorbing moisture. It's got the biggest pore sizes, and it did work well. I also the other good test I had was over a couple of days, and I got a big chunk of ice in this and around this this here, this whole thing was halfway filled with, this whole chamber was halfway filled with ice, hard ice, I mean, this is not slushy ice, and around the outside, so I couldn't even, couldn't even pull this out of the chamber, because there's so much ice that was accumulated on it. Um, so that was a good test. And that, both of those were done with virgin, I shouldn't say virgin zeolite, the zeolite from the factory. So I had not regenerated it. And, you know, so that's the second, maybe the most likely explanation is I just can't get enough. And the way I've been regenerating it is not with a stove or an oven or anything else, but with these chambers because I'm trying to make it, you know, without any energy use. And they are getting pretty high temperatures. I've recorded over 575 degrees in this chamber. And, it, you know, it would have been for a few hours probably at that temperature. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's not that hot. Sometimes it's only, um, you know, 450 or 500. And 
one website I read, 13X is supposed to be regenerated between, I think, 200 and 300 or 315. There's different websites say different things. Some of them are way high, you know, like Celsius. So it would have been approximately 400 to 580 or 600 degrees. So I'm in the range, but maybe, you know, this form, this particular zeolite needs 700 or you know, to get it all out. Uh, it, it seems like most of it's out. Like you can see it steaming off. I can show you that too if somebody wants at some point. But it seems like most of the zeolite is getting, you can tell that the top, the top is probably not as hot, right? Because it's sitting on the top and then got this here, which is room temperature or, or outside temperature. So it's probably a lot of the moisture maybe it trapped at the top. Anyway, I haven't had real good tests with zeolite that hasn't been from the factory. So that's another, and then the other possible is that I have a leak somewhere, a slow leak, and that that's with these cracks at the top of this. Yeah, maybe, you know, I've put the uh, butyl tape around there and stuff to try it, but you know, who knows if they're doing any good. And uh, Anyway, I wish I could give that I had better results in the end. My goal was if, if uh, you know, I was originally going to try to have it in inside this. I've made this old freezer that stopped working. I made it into, you know, just a place to put a cooler. And then you know, I got a little bit of ice in there now, some food. Now I'm going to have this vacuum chamber with the water sitting in here and hopefully keeping it below 40 degrees but that all those tests that I've done like that have been pathetic and and uh, so I went to this and I thought well maybe I can you know if I cook some food like a half gallon of food or so that's what I have in there is a half gallon of water right now uh, I could take it from room temperature, 70 degrees, 72 degrees, and bring it down to 32 degrees or something, and maybe not 32, under freezing, and keep it there. Because I have had some success, like that test with where I went from 72 to 30, 38 degrees in, in overnight. I think it would have stayed below 41 for another maybe day or something because it does seem it does seem to keep taking some out some heat out even if it doesn't drop the temperature um so i was hoping i could at least keep some food in there you know but just had too many unsuccessful results maybe somebody else can um do better I will maybe post a few links with this, and if anybody wants any more video, I can, any other, or any information, I can try to get it to them. Thanks. Bye.